Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we'll be trying to calculate the upper and lower confidence intervals from any given data set. So over here, I've um, compiled this data set from one of my research project, one of my research projects, which is assignment. And um, I've just decided to collect the first 12 pieces of data. I didn't want to use any more just to keep this video brief and simple. So in order to get a confidence interval, we need firstly to, to calculate the sample size, which is easy as 12 the mean, standard deviation, and of course, set an alpha level. And then finally, we can use something known as the as a confidence formula. So, okay, so let's jump straight in. So the very first thing, how do we get the sample size quickly? Well, you could use the formula, which is known as the count. And this count formula counts the number of cells in a range. So what I always do, type count and press the tab key on the left side of the keyboard, and then just scroll down, highlight the 12 and press enter. And then what you could do is just grab this corner and just drag it across. It literally copies a formula across in every single cell, which is, which is pretty good if you think about it. Next one is the mean. Press equal and then press the word average. Okay, just the first few layers and just tap the, the tab key. Done. And then highlight the same set. And lastly, do the standard deviation. Now you'll notice that if you use an Excel 2016 that you have dot .p and dot .s. This calculates standard deviation based on an entire population, so we're talking about a lot. This is clearly just a sample size, so you want to click on dot .s, okay? The difference in formulas is that, in this case, the, the sample size we're going to use is n, whereas, dot, whereas the population uses n minus 1. I believe I did, I think it's that way wrong. Anyway, we do the same thing, so you press enter, and you get, you get these results. Now all you have to do is just, you know, highlight, drag the corner, and this will copy the formula. So the reason why we do this is because we need to firstly make sure. And oh yeah, we don't need this side as well. This is kind of irrelevant. So let's just carry on, delete. Okay, let's carry on here. So where are we? So now that we calculate the, the main bunch, so now we need to set alpha level, you know, general case, just say 5%. That's always the best thing to do. And uh, and now the confidence. So this is this part is literally in the equation. If you have the confidence interval about a mean. It's always going to be the sample mean, which is over here, plus minus the confidence value. So because we're using alpha 5%, we're probably going to do it at 0 0.96. And then it's going to be times the standard error, or the square root, or in this case, because we've got standard deviation, times the standard deviation over the sample size. So all of this part is going to be the, the confidence value. Okay, let me just write confidence. Okay, so that represents this part. Of course, you can calculate directly, or you can use a special keyboard function, which is confidence, type the word confidence, and literally just press this function. Press the alpha, which is 5%, the standard deviation, which is 11.067, and of course, the sample size. And that's it. Close the bracket, and voila, you've got literally all of these values covered. And now for the lower, well, the lower is simply going to be the X bar, minus the, the confidence value. And again, the upper would just be the plus version. And that's it guys, you pretty much have it. So in this case, press equal, click on the mean, minus the confidence value. And likewise, equal, click on the mean, plus the confidence value. And now just literally drag across. And we're done. So literally you have your, your confidence, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, yeah, this is this is five percent. So you don't drag here. Sorry, guys, my bad. Let's just check the form. Is that okay? Yep. Formulas here. Five standard deviation size. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. So now we drag properly again. And that's it. That's what you should get. So sometimes Excel is a bit slow. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes it's a bit slow. Yours might run faster than mine, so <laughs> that's really it. So yeah, just have a go play with this, and you should get a result very similar to this. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helped, and uh, if this pretty much answered any doubts. And yeah, if I change, for example, to 10%, the whole formula will change. It'll just update to 10 significance, 50%, 50 which you're never going to go, and so on. But yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next one. Ciao.